If you're new to Excel Math, this segment provides basic instruction for its use. Excel Math is very easy to use and requires little preparation. Upon receiving Excel Math, you will notice that each box has a label on it. This label indicates the grade level, the language, English or Spanish, and the classroom set size. Excel Math comes in classroom sets of 10, 15, 22, 30, and 35. The larger set sizes are multi-box sets, and this is also indicated on each label. In the classroom, the material can remain in the boxes before each day's use. Opening the first box of the set, you will find pre-printed legal sheets of the first lesson in the appropriate number for your set size. As you begin your teaching, remove the lesson sheets and distribute them to the students. Lesson 1 is followed by a color sheet separator, and then Lesson 2, and so on. Excel Math comes in the form of lesson sheets. Each lesson sheet has three components. The lesson of the day, guided practice, and the homework. The lesson of the day is located on the front left side of the lesson sheet. This is the direct instruction portion where concepts are introduced. It is important to recognize that teachers are not aiming for mastery in this section, but introducing a new standards-based concept every day. Mastery occurs in the guided practice section. The objective of the concept is stated in the header so it is clear to the students. In any grade level, the first four to six weeks review the previous grade's concepts. In the teacher edition, each day has a lesson plan that communicates to the teacher the objective of the lesson, suggests commonly found manipulatives for interactive instruction, and includes a brief lesson plan that by design is not scripted. This allows the teacher to cater their instruction to the specific needs of their classroom. One-fourth of the classroom time devoted to Excel math should be spent on the lesson of the day. Remember, as a teacher, you are not going for mastery when a subject is first introduced. There is a better way to learn. All current brain research indicates that exposure to concepts multiple times over time leads to long-term memory consolidation more effectively. The second component, the guided practice, is located on the back side of the lesson sheet. This section provides a spiraling reintroduction of the concepts the students have been exposed to up to and including today's lesson. This provides a balance of new and review every day as students progress and become proficient in the mathematical concepts. New concepts are never introduced in the guided practice. All the concepts have been introduced in a previous lesson of the day. The guided practice is also where we feature our self-assessment tool called Check Answer. Here's how it works. Problems on the guided practice and homework sections are grouped into boxes. Each box contains two to four problems and a number at the top right corner of the box, which we call Check Answer. The students complete the practice problems, take the answers, add them together, and the total equals the Check Answer. This provides an immediate assessment to every student in the classroom. If they answered all the problems correctly, the numbers will match and the students will move on to the next set of practice problems. If one or more of the problems is incorrect, their sum will not equal the check answer and they will immediately know that they need to go back and check their work. On average, students are able to determine where the error occurred 50% of the time which produces confidence. If they cannot figure out what caused the problem, they ask the teacher for help. This way, the teacher can provide individualized instruction benefiting a particular student, while the rest of the students continue to progress knowing that they are achieving successful results. This system is a valuable tool for immediate assessment and communicates to the teacher where potential gaps in understanding exist. Because mastery occurs in the guided practice, a majority of the classroom time devoted to Excel Math is spent in the guided practice. Every day, Excel Math balances new and review 
and provides immediate assessment as the students develop proficiency and all of the concepts are kept in front of the students throughout the entire school year. Because, conceptually speaking, the light bulb goes on at different times for different people, continual exposure to concepts is crucial for maximum comprehension. The third component is homework, located on the front right side of the lesson sheet. Homework is assigned four days a week and is a review of concepts that the students have been exposed to up to but not including the last week. Before a concept is sent home for independent study, the student has had a week's worth of practice guided by the teacher. In grades two through six, the check answer is utilized in homework as well. One day a week, homework is not assigned. The lesson for that day is often a critical thinking lesson, including concepts such as probability, estimation, and graphing. Additionally, on this day, we provide a test to be given in class. This is an assessment of concepts the students have been exposed to up to but not including the last two weeks. There is a chart in the teacher edition that allows the teacher to track which concepts are landing in long-term memory and where reteaching opportunities exist. Further discussion of the use of this chart can be found by viewing segment three. On the back of the test, we provide a merge of literacy and mathematics along with the opportunity to develop higher level thinking skills with Excel Math's Create a Problem. There you will find a multi-paragraph story and critical thinking questions. Students must extract the pertinent information to answer the questions correctly. This exercise leads to the students writing their own story problems as a means to communicate mastery. Although the Create a Problem exercise is on the back of the test, it need not be part of the test and can be a group activity. Excel Math provides quarterly tests in a standardized format as well as a two-part year-end test assessing all the essential concepts for the grade level. This is an excellent year-end assessment and you may consider passing the results on to next year's teacher as a reference for starting the following year. The teacher edition has additional resources that should be implemented throughout the year. In addition to the daily lesson plan and answer key, there is a daily stretch problem. The scope and sequence section at the front of the teacher edition reveals the strategy of our spiraling approach for lessons, stretches, and activities. Also included in the teacher edition is a set of group activities as well as a section of extractable manipulative resource pages and a glossary of grade level math terms. Finally, the Excel Math website helps you by providing placement tests, correlations to state standards, mental math exercises, and updated teacher edition pages. It is easy to reach us if you have questions or comments about Excel Math. You can email info at excelmath.com or call us toll free 866-866 7026. Excel Math, how may I help you? If you call between 8 o'clock a.m. and 4.30 p.m. West Coast time, Monday through Friday, you will always speak to a human, never a machine. Kindergarten and first grade Excel Math contains subtle differences not covered in this video. Please contact us to discuss these differences and to learn more about Excel Math for kindergarten and first grade. For tips on how to maximize the effectiveness of the components of Excel Math, please watch the third segment of this video, Best Practices.